Hey everybody! Am I like, am I alive? Am I like breathing? Cause man, I woke up this morning with a major hangover. Oh boy, I had some shots of tequila yesterday at this really cool restaurant. It's only here in the Philippines called Jerry's. And it's the only place that I found in this area that has sashimi. So, I mean, I crave sashimi every so often and that's the only place I can go because there's like no sushi restaurants not that I have found yet um, I really should go try to find some and look around but anyways so I went yesterday to the uh, really cool designer mall and it's called Robinson's in Iligan Iligan City yeah anyways um yeah dude so I had shots of tequila then I also bought this bottle of coconut wine it was bubblegum flavored. What's really confusing is like it tasted like fruit punch, but also it had a color of blue, like my ball there. <laughs> but oh my goodness. Mmm. Okay. Well, the thing is, like, you don't really feel it because you think you're drinking fruit punch because there's like a lot of sugar in it too, I guess. So, um, yeah, until like later on and then you'll like drink some more and you're like, I don't really feel it. Cause like once the tequila shots are like out of your system, like you start drinking, okay, well just the coconut liquor wine, that'll be fine. Woke up this morning, I oh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go down to the beach, take a walk down there and um, sweat it off just do some sprints run back and forth and just try to sweat it all off just you know that's the best thing to do right i mean you know if you're in a party town and well gosh you know i lived in las vegas for a very long time and um good lord now that is a party town but um any town is a more conservative party town but there's like a ton of beach resorts here so um yeah i go from six months here now is what i'm planning to do gosh i broke another nail that's what happens when you drink too much coconut filipino liquor whatever it's called but um yeah dude and then i'm gonna go to vegas in april and then um another party time i'm gonna go to a desert <laughs> but here it's the beach so i get the best of both worlds every year this is really awesome but yeah I'm gonna go sweat this off. Let's go do that.
so this area right here are caves and it's pretty much government property well it is it's considered protected landscape they have like so many areas in Initao and Libertad, which is like the next town over from us. But this is the view from our little beach resort. And this right here, nobody cannot touch this, cannot cut those trees. They're mangrove trees, very precious nature. So they are preserved and um, yeah, the government pretty much owns this whole property to protect it. And these are our dogs, guard dogs. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Hit subscribe, like, and comment below just to say hi. Thanks. <laughs>